Okay, I now realize that before I gave you some advice and it might not have worked for you. Uh, we opened up NA Utilis by hitting Control Alt E for Explorer, then we hit Control L to pull up the uh, address bar, and then we typed in SMB colon slash slash and then the name of a Windows computer. This part might have not worked. It would have been like, uh, can't find, what are you even talking about? I don't know. Um, that could have been happening because out of the box when you hit uh, pull up a terminal with Control Alt T, and you type ping and then the name of a Windows machine, it'll fail and it'll tell you, I don't know what that is. Here it's working for me. It found a local IP address, 192.168, and that is true. That is all correct. But out of the box, it doesn't do that. Here's how to make it work. Open up a terminal, type apt, install winbind. We're installing winbind, and that's like, I think it's a part of the Samba package, or it's somehow related. Anyway, install that, and then ping xcal, or ping a local Windows machine will work. Uh, you might need to reboot. Uh, I don't think you do, though. Um, so there's that. Uh, then we, we may as well... Oh, gosh. Okay. Shoot. And then additionally... You, you have to type in vi.etcnsswitch.conf. Additionally, all right, your, your slash etc slash nsswitch.conf file will look something like this, but it won't have this word wins in here. Put in the word wins right after DNS and then restart your computer. Uh, and then you should be able to ping, I think. Maybe try it without beforehand. Uh, things got a little confusing for me. Uh, but yeah, after that, you should be good to go. Um, Xbox Media Center, you could go ahead and install that if you want. Uh, and now let's go over the startup files. There are a few startup files. Okay, it's very confusing. Open up your terminal, and guess what file, startup file, gets uh, sourced. Well, it's called bash rc. It's called bash rc. That'll get logged in by uh, sourced by default. And you can see I create an alias on startup, which turns th the word r into Rails. So I can just type r instead of having to type Rails out. That's what an alias is all about. And you save them when you make an, an alias. Like perhaps you want to do. Have you ever had to make a directory and then change directory into it? And you're like, why isn't this the default behavior of make directory? Well, uh, let's go into uh, let's let's go into here and let's let's play around. We'll make an alias. Alias make make cd. We'll call it that equals and then we'll type make directory oh shoot I don't know how to do it sorry <laughs> I don't know how to do it with just an alias but let's say alias e equals echo hello and now we can just hit, hit E, but the second we leave our terminal, if we just hit E, it's going to be like, E not found. What are you talking about? We have to save that in uh, a file like bash rc, okay? Uh, but here's the thing. If you, let's get out of that dot bash rc. First of all, there's more like that. You could also check vi.profile. Uh, check out dot profile, and it's got more stuff in it. Um, it gets a little confusing when which file gets sourced. I usually stick to just, and there's also a dot bash underscore profile. Okay, so this file isn't going to get loaded if we have one of these files, bash login. Okay, um, and I think bash rc says something similar. Uh, it doesn't, but bash rc, I don't. That shouldn't get sourced if you go into here, 
go into profile preferences and go to title and command and check this off. I need to check this off because I use a lot of RVM and RVM won't play very nice if I don't do that. But that also means that my bash RC file it's not getting sourced. <laughs> Instead bash uh, login is getting sourced. Okay. And so I when I, I in, in in like kind of a cheeky move I just set at the very bottom, okay, then source the bash RC file. And of course dot in Unix means run and then I, sp I specify the path. Okay, there's also dot profile. Oh, now there's also, what about logins when you first log into mi the machine? Um, well, there's dot x profile. X means, of course, x11, which is just an annoying word for this graphical user interface that has my computer and home directory, and it allows me to use NAUtilis, and so on and so forth. So this file, this .x profile, is getting run when I log in from that login screen way down at the bottom, okay? Uh, that's cool. And for me, what I have it do is I have it kind of dim my monitor down to 19% of its maximum. Um, and that's just to fix a bug. So now I can actually change the screen brightness of my computer. Uh, that's pretty, that's weird, I know. And I, I think they fixed the bug over the course of me installing within a few days. So that's kind of weird and interesting, but cool. Um, so that's .x profile. And you can go ahead and input like special key bindings in here um, uh, for your mouse. You could change the order. So instead of it going one, two, three, you can do what I did here, which is two, one, three, which makes your left click, your right click, and your right click, your left click. Or actually, your left click, your middle click, and your middle click, your left click. I think that's what it's doing. Anyway, that's another load up file, ls. And there's also, uh, there, there's lots of, th oh yeah, then there's uh, etc slash profile. Okay, this is off of root, like root etc profile and then there's this which is a system wi wide dot profile for the born shell um, and and that gets sourced so that's cool to know about pretty cool uh, yeah very cool um, now we can move on now that we know a few startup locations and of course there's also etc in it D. Of course, there's all of these things. Some of these get started up by source, but I'm not going to get into that. That's more of a server type of a thing than it is a desktop thing. And so it's not so much a Linux Mint need to know this kind of stuff. So we'll just leave that out of the picture for now. Startup files. Um, now, Putty. Now I'm going to move on to something a little bit. No, I'm going to stop it right now.